Hi, welcome back to Loft Legacy. In our last video, we looked at Among the Living by Anthrax and how music was getting pigeonholed. And really, Anthrax did their best to unpigeonhole music by making I'm the Man. Very mixed opinions from everybody on this. Came out in 1987. This is an EP. This is a short version of the EP. It's got I'm the Man. Live, which is the extremely deaf, ill, uncensored version, Course of Mosh Live, and I Am the Law Live. Another version has got a censored radio version, the deaf, uncensored radio version, a cover of Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath by Sabbath, I'm the Man Live, Caught in a Mosh Live, and I Am the Law Live. So, really, this is half of the, the a 12 inch single version of the. Of the full EP, and it says on the back, thanks every single person who helped make 1987 such a great year for us. The Among the Living Tour has been amazing, and we are only halfway through. So, this is something they brought out mid tour. Uh, again, release on Mega Force. But it's a, a, a common, a com the best way to describe this is comedy rap rock, which some people love, some people hate it. It's very heavy. It's got quite a lot of profanities on it, which who cares to be honest. But what you, I love about it, one, it broke down genres where everybody decided to, you've got to be pigeonholed, you've got to be pigeonholed. Here you've got a New York thrash metal band making a rap record. They later made Bring the Noise with Public Enemy, which was amazing. Again, breaking down barriers. Busting genres. There they are in all their rap gear on the front. <laughs> I think at the time metal and track suits went together went together. I know for around seven son of seven son, Iron Maiden got a sponsorship from Puma. So in every publicity shop, they're in head to toe sportswear, Puma sportswear. But, uh, Anthrax more Adidas men. Joe Bellin on her own. That's blue tracksuit and Scott. Getting down in a an Adidas tracky, all in Adidas trainers, by the way. I don't know if they had, a, I don't know if they had an, uh, endorsements or not. But yeah, produced by Paul Anthrax and Paul Hammingson. Lots of fun. Mark, a Mark Weiss picture of them live on stage on the Among the Living tour on the back. It's just a curiosity. I, I, I'll pick this up. From Reed is the home of music in their bargain bin for about 99p. Reed is home of music, by the way, it's a music shop in Blackburn. They used to sell records. I don't know if they sell records anymore, but they, they sell musical instruments. And this year is their 100th anniversary. So a big shout out to Reed is the home of music in Blackburn. Great, great shop. And must have been great customer service. My, my grand, I'm very, very limited musical talent. I don't even call it talent. My granddad was a professional musician on cruise ships and in orchestras and in, in the army. And he actually went to read his song of music probably a hundred years ago. You know, he'd have been a customer in the early days. So and this, this, this is where this 12 inch singles from. They really buy, didn't buy vinyl for anywhere else. Reedy's always seems to have stuff cheap. So again, Island Records. Picture the guys looking rather ridiculous. And we've started with the year of the board shorts. Look at Charlie Bonanti with those pink board shorts on. Scott with some yellow numbers on. Yes, the board short era of Anthrax and of Thrash Metal had started. And we all had a bit of that. Some high cuts, high cut basketball trainers. We also wear basketball trainers. <laughs> they play basketball, tight jeans, basketball trainers. So you could ditch the tight jeans and wear some board shorts. And so I'm with my mullet back in the 80s. Happy days, happy days. So they got Anthrax, I'm the Man. Definite genre busting crossover between rap and metal. Thanks for watching.